So philosophy is the oldest academic discipline. It's a study of deep fundamental questions that people don't necessarily have a chance of asking in their order modules. Uh, it's about clear, critical thinking and always challenging your own ideas. I think that's the thing that gives it its real value and real excitement. So what is really important about this minor is that we offer a choice where students can choose any of the 30 philosophy modules we offer. So for example, if they're interested in big historical figures, we have modules on Nietzsche, on Kierkegaard, on Kant, on Schopenhauer. But if they're much more interested in the sciences or in more modern topics, we have modules on applied ethics, on philosophy of sex, on feminism, on gender. And the students can construct any set of these modules to make a minor that suits their interests. I think it's well recognised uh, by many employers that philosophy gives you skills that can be transferred to any kind of problem solving or presenting of your ideas in a clear way. Uh, philosophy teaches you critical thinking, mental agility and uh, ability to present your ideas extremely clearly. So students can come in uh, to the module without having done any uh, background research, but for anybody who wonders what it's like, there's a plethora of philosophy books that you might look at. I think the most important thing before doing a philosophy minor is really not to prepare any specific uh, research or ideas, but to come with an open mind and be prepared to be challenged and surprised by uh, a lot of different questions that you've never really asked in other disciplines. So I look at lots of contemporary questions in my philosophy lecture, so I gave a course on feminism and some of my students of that course have said it was one of the most relevant courses that they took. I've taught a lot of science students philosophy and they love the way in which they get to ask questions that they don't otherwise get to ask. And they also love the way that they can talk in class and they can voice their opinions and they can think about their opinions in rigorous ways. A philosophy minor, I think, goes with pretty much every degree that the university offers. If you're a scientist, you can reflect more on the questions of what makes something scientific knowledge. If you're doing literature, we've got a course uh, on aesthetics, uh, aesthetic value, puzzles about art and literature. History of philosophy can complement, indeed, any discipline whatsoever. So I think it goes with pretty much every major programme we have. What I love about philosophy is that it really allows you to probe questions in depth in a way that you can't otherwise do. You can think of philosophy um, as a contribution to your development as a person, your general education. You'll acquire an ability to be more reflective and to think clearly uh, about really anything that comes your way. I think the most important reason is just that it is fun. People come to philosophy and they find it incredibly fun to be challenged in a way that they haven't been challenged before.